My name is Carson Melton. Before accepting Christ, I was addicted to drugs and alcohol, homeless and living on the streets. I had lost everything important to me. I did not care about my life. I decided to get help after a series of events that led me to my bottom. I got a sponsor and decided to work the AA steps. When we got to the third step, I was directed that I needed to turn my will and my life over to the care of God as I understand Him. When we bowed our heads to say that prayer, I knew I had to stop living my own way and to give God's will a try. It was five years ago in June that I said that prayer and asked God to take my will and to direct my mind and thinking. Day by day, I ask God to help me, and every time I've asked, He's showed up. Since I've abandoned my life to Christ, I've gotten my nine-year-old daughter back into my home, and I've also been blessed with a new six-week-old baby boy. My husband and I are so happy that our family is together. I have also found a church home in Gwinnett Church, and in that church home, I've gotten a small group where I've met some people who have completely accepted me for who I am and have supported me in my journey with Christ. When I stopped living life on my own terms, Jesus literally saved my life, and I'm so grateful for all that He has done. I want to thank my mom, Susan Barge, for never giving up on me and loving me unconditionally, and also my family for being there through every milestone of my sobriety. I also want to thank my husband, Jordan, for standing by my side through every obstacle and building the family and life that we have today. I want to show my family and friends that this is the ultimate relationship that brings me peace in my heart, and everything good in my life is a direct result from following Him. My prayer is that my baptism brings hope to people that are struggling. He is the reason for all good things, and He is my peace when things are hard. Uh, um, first of all, I just want to thank you so much, Carson, for sharing your story. Um, gosh, it takes a lot of courage uh, to be that vulnerable in front of all these people. And I know your husband, Jordan, right there is so proud of you. Um, and what I love so much about your story, gosh, there's so much to love about your story, but um, it's a reminder to us all that no matter how far we fall, God is right there with us at rock bottom. He'll meet us not to point a finger of judgment, but to extend his nail scarred hands to help us back up. And it's also such an amazing reminder that when it comes to following Jesus, surrender is not a bad word because it's at the end of ourselves that's the beginning of grace. And so I just want to thank you so much for sharing your story and reminding us of that. And for those of you sitting out here hearing Carson's story, I just want it to be a reminder of you. Maybe you feel like you fell too far. Maybe you feel like you messed up too bad. I just want you to know there are no lost causes in the kingdom of God. You're never too far for his reach. You cannot out the grace of God. You can always come home. And for those of you that are praying for a loved one who maybe you feel like has gone too far, I just want to remind you to keep praying, keep investing, keep inviting. Don't ever give up because your heavenly father does not give up on any of us. And so thank you so much for that reminder this morning in your story. And I pray that all of us are encouraged this morning. So now... Based on your public profession of faith, Carson, it's my honor and my joy and my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.